Welcome into the Arrowhead Attic Podcast. I'm Matt Verderam, and this is Film Friday. And for the first time this year, we're not looking at the Kansas City Chiefs. We're looking at their Week 9 opponent, the Tennessee Titans, who they will see at Arrowhead on Sunday Night Football. Last week, Tennessee played the one-win Houston Texans down at NRG Stadium. And the Titans, despite only throwing 55 yards and an interception, won the game 17-10, to largely because Derrick Henry, he's really good. He rushed for a couple hundred yards in the game. And I want to show you a play from the first drive of the game. It's a second down and eight, Tennessee on its own side of the field. And you're going to notice by formation here, the Titans are in 12 personnel. It just means a running back and two tight ends balanced on the line, one on either side. The Texans, they've got the numbers in the box. They have eight guys in the box. They have three linebackers at the second level, four down linemen, and then Petrie, he's number five. He's sitting there from this vantage point on the right edge of your screen. And so he's essentially acting as another backer. And you can even see uh, another DB in Owens at 30, 36. He's back, but he's in your picture. So the, the Texans have numbers here. And even though it's second down and eight, they're expecting they're expecting the potential for a run. Makes all the sense in the world. Tennessee's a run-heavy team. Willis is a, a, a rookie making his first start. Now, you want to notice here in a second when we run this play is the Titans – are going to run a play where Henry's going to wind toward the right of the formation, and then he's going to cut back left. It's a counter play, a simple counter. He's going to try to hit the hole on the left-hand side of the line. And for Tennessee, the assignments are very simplistic. So what's going to happen is you're going to have the tight end on the right side of the formation. He's going to come across, and he's actually going to block the left defensive end for Houston, number 92. The left tackle and the left guard, they're going to get a double-team block on the D tackle, and then the left guard's going to climb to the second level. Ben Jones, the center, he's going to get a block. He's going to wash down that D tackle on his right shoulder to the right-hand side. The right guard's going to climb. Right tackle is going to take Jerry Hughes, and he's going to push him to the outside. So it, the, the blocking here, you're not asking anything crazy. There's no big reach block. The big block that's got to be made is that tight end coming across the formation and sealing that D end, creating that alley. And so – what you want to see here for the Texans, their linebackers, they're key here. Okay, and this is why I brought this play up, because Kansas City's going to have to do this all night long against Tennessee. They're going to have to play in their base, which they don't like to do, but they're going to have to do it against Tennessee. You've got to fill gaps, and you've got to make the tackle, and it's something that the Texans have multiple opportunities to do on this play, and they don't. So if we start to run this play – you're going to see all those blocks that I mentioned, okay? You're going to see the double inside with the left tackle and the left guard. You're going to see Jones getting a really good block. He's one of the better centers in the league. It's a really nice block on the interior. But the Texans are in good position here. Now, 92 is going to get blocked by tight end. He makes a great block. But the Texans, what happens is they're reading Henry running right, right? So 58, Kirksey, middle backer, he's going to go to the right-hand side. 48 is going to go to the right-hand side. They get out of their gaps. They get out of their alignment. Now, 32, he second-year kid out of TCU, he's actually reading this, and he's going to head over top of the other linebackers, and he's going to head to the backside of the play, which is going to turn into where the action is. But by getting out of these gaps, the Texans create holes. Now, they're still okay. They're still okay because if we as we run a little bit more, you're going to see the tight end get the block on 92. Okay, so – he comes across, he gets a block. Now, you're still okay because the right guard who climbed to the second level, he doesn't make the block. Kirksey gets in there. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, 48 gets in there, rather. Kirksey gets washed out. The 48 gets in there. He's got a chance to make a play. He's got a chance to make a tackle. It's a tough tackle. He's got to dive at Henry. You can see him there beating the right guard, but he's not going to be able to get there. Okay. 92 gets blocked by the tight end. Petrie, number five, he's on the right-hand side of your screen. He's blocked into oblivion. He's he, he can't get off the block. 92 doesn't get off the block. Okay, So now we run it a touch more. You're going to see there's an opportunity for 32. He's right there. He's right in the hole. He's square to Henry, but he couldn't break down fast enough. It looks like he's broken down there, but his feet are off the ground. He's sliding. He's not going to be able to make the play. Now, Owens, number 36. He's coming up. Not an easy assignment for a DB one-on-one -on -one with Derrick Henry. Nobody's saying it is. But if you're going to play in this game, you got to put on your hard hat, you got to drop your pad level, and you got to make a tackle. You got to get in there. 
You got to be willing to make the play. Well, as we run it here, what happens? Okay, tackles missed by 32, 36. You've got him. You've got an opportunity. Again, not easy. Maybe it's one of these situations where you hold on to his ankle and pray for dear life and you, you wait for help to arrive, and it's a 10-yard run, and that stinks on second and eight, but it's not a disaster. Well, we'll run it. Here's what happens. 36, he dies with his ankles. Can't make the play. Derrick Henry, faster than you'd think. Another missed tackle. And then finally, the tackle actually made. Tennessee gets a 41-yard run on second and eight. Kansas City is going to have to live in base a lot of times in this game, at least early if the Chiefs don't have a big lead. Tennessee wants to run the ball down its opponent's throats. The Chiefs need Bolton and Gay and Leo Chanel. They need to be in their gap. Brian Cook, I have a feeling, is going to be very involved in this game as well. Justin Reed, you're going to see him involved in this game. He's one of the Chiefs' better tacklers. The Texans had this play dead to rights three different times before Henry broke loose. They never came close to tackling him. Never. Two whiffs, an ankle biter that misses. He's out the gate and he's gone. If Kansas City is going to slow down this rushing attack, it is going to start by being gap sound and by making tackles. The Texans did neither on that play. They gave up 41 yards, and it was a sign of things to come in a game where Henry was never stopped throughout the entirety of the afternoon.